Santo because Palo Santo, here it is, one of my very, very favorite essential oils, is a perfect essential oil to talk about during the full moon, especially the hunter's moon, because of what Palo Santo is used for. So Palo Santo is a really, really special tree. It grows in Ecuador, and there's two different varieties. One is one that doesn't produce very much essential oil, and the other is very prolific, but only under certain circumstances. And this is a very protected species of tree, so Palo Santo means um, the sacred wood. And this is a, a, a tree that is involved in South American folklore and religious beliefs and traditions because of the way that Palo Santo actually produces its essential oil, and it's very unusual. So Palo Santo is not allowed to be harvested as a live tree at all. It's protected, and so the tree can only be gathered for distillation after it has died naturally and lain on the ground for at least two years. So this tree has been dead for two years, and then they go harvest it. And because the tree has lain there after it's died, all of the essential oil in the tree gets pushed into the heartwood, into that very core wood of the tree. And they have found that the tree will be most prolific in its essential oil production in a couple of circumstances. One, if it's been exposed to the salty Pacific Ocean winds, it's going to be really prolific. Two, after it's had those two years of rest. And three, very often it will produce more during a full moon. So because of these things, it's come to be associated with the whole idea of resurrection because here this plant has died and we go so long after to collect its parts that we then distill, which creates this incredibly healing and powerful essential oil. So Palo Santo is one of the wish-fulfilling gems in aromatherapy, and because of its association with religious and spiritual practice, so people use this in religious settings, they use it for meditation, they use it to enhance creativity, this essential oil has also come to be strongly associated with manifestation. And if you know anything about the traditional beliefs around the full moon, the full moon is also a time when people traditionally have put their thoughts into action and gotten to work on what they want to accomplish in their life. So what can be really interesting is to use Palo Santo during your regular prayer meditation time or when you're setting your intentions, when you're making your plans for the future, be it business or personal, whatever your personal goals are and you are setting your intentions, you're setting your heart on those things, you're praying about those things, you're offering those things up, using Palo Santo with that can be very intriguing to see what happens. And I challenge you to just play with this and see if you notice anything. I have found it to be extremely powerful for me in my life when I really need to shift something or change something that has felt stuck for a while, or maybe I just want to experience some unexpected opportunities or blessings coming my way. This has been really, really fun to play with. It also is really great for enhancing any kind of sustained concentration. So here's a really practical use that we find that if you're, you know, doing something that takes a lot of mental concentration for many hours at a time, you can use Palo Santo, diffuse it, or even just breathe it, waft it from the bottle. When you're kind of feeling a dip in your energy or a dip in your mental focus and it's interesting that the compounds that are in this are similar to that that are in lemon but also to those that are in some of the resinous woods like uh, frankincense would be an example of those things and not only does that mean that palo santo is uplifting like so many of the citrus essential oils are but it is also great for enhancing that uh, that focus that we need when we're meditating or we needing to concentrate on something for an extended length of time just like frankincense and lot a lot of the other sacred scents do it's also a tree essential oil, and all tree essential oils have an affinity for the lungs and for breathing and for immunity. So it is great this time of year to be diffusing some Palo Santo in your diffuser to help support that as well. And it is anti-anxiety. And as we've been talking about a lot for the last several weeks, this particular time of year is a time of year that many people struggle with anxiety. So this would be another option to reach for in addition to some of your friends that you might already know, such as lavender, 
or Roman uh, chamomile that are very calming and good for anxiety or even frankincense. Palo Santo will give you a completely different sort of scent profile to work with. Some people love the scent of this. Some people find it really overpowering and it's true that a little does go a long way. So one drop or two drops in your diffuser or doing direct palm inhalation, put a drop on here, blah, blah, blah breathe in. Those can be really simple ways to enjoy and utilize Palo Santo. 